welcome to part four of our subject on integrative programming and technologies one so let me introduce you the django framework so learn objectives Ayan. so use the django as the framework python yung ating gagamitin as a scripting language and the rest or gagamitin natin as api So yan, uh, you'll be able to uh, install the Python and Django framework and yung ating API. So let us meet Django. Si Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design. So isa siyang high-level Python web framework. So, ka-level uh, siya, hindi mo siya Kasama niya yung mga framework kagaya ng uh, Code Igniter, Laravel, tapos ay Symfony. Ang gamit niya ng mga ganong framework. Ang gamit lang niya doon is PHP. Yung iba doon. Yung, lalo na sa Code Igniter, tsaka sa Laravel. But then, dito sa Django, ang gagamitin natin dito ng scripting language is Python. So built, si Django is built by the experienced developer. It takes care of much of the hassle of the web development. So you can focus on your writing app without needing to reinvent the wheel. So it is free and open source. So yun ang kagandahan ni Django. So binuo siya ng mga experienced developers. And uh, ginag kalimitan ginagamit siya sa panggagawa ng mga web applications. And syempre, libre lang siya and it is open source. So bakit Django ang gagamitin natin? Isa sa mga karakteristik ng Django ay ito. Ridiculously fast. Django was designed to help developers to take application from concept to completion as quickly as possible. So, mas mabilis tayo makakagawa ng mga web application using Django framework. Reassuringly secure. So, secure din si Django. Django takes security seriously and helps developers avoid many common security mistakes. So, yung mga developer nito, in nila na mas secure gamitin itong si Django framework. Exceedingly scalable. Some of the busiest sites on the web leverage Django's ability to quickly and flexibility scale. So very flexible si Django. So why Django? So with Django, you can take web application from concept to launch in a matter of hours. Or kung halimbawa may naisip kang concept about sa, sa web application, so from the concept, you can launch it in a matter of hours. So, mas madali siya mag-develop. So, framework na siya yung mga kailangan yung gamitin. Tatawagin niyo na lang yan. Kagaya ng mga, kung kayo nakapag-program na using Python, mas madali siya ang gamitin. And Django takes care of much of the hassle of the web development. So, you can focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel. So, makapag-focus na lang kayo dyan sa panggagawa ng inyong application. The way na ginagawa niyo siya or kung paano yung mga components na kailangan niyo, hindi niyo na kailangan pang uh, problemahin pa kasi madali lang siyang pag-aralan. Okay? So, it's free and open source, sabi nga. And it is fully loaded. Why fully loaded? Django includes dozens of extras you can use to handle common web development tasks. And Django takes care of the user authentication. So yung user authentication, tatawagin nyo na lang yan. Hindi nyo na, hindi nyo na siya tatawa, uh, gagawin manually. So may mga built-in function na dyan na uh, kailangan nyo lang tawagin for uh, well, yeah, authentication, content administration, sitemaps, RSS feeds, and many more tasks. So right out of the box. So, yung mga kailangan ninyo, kalimitan, ay available na kay Django Framework. So, 
less developed, less coding na yung gagawin ni Jen. Incredibly versatile. So companies, organizations, and governments have used Django to build all sorts of things. So from content management system to social networks to scientific computing platforms. So nagsimula sa mga management system hanggang sa mga social networks, okay, mga social network, networking website, and also sa mga scientific platforms. So ganyan nagagamit si Django. Okay? Getting started with Django. Ano mga kailangan natin? So there are some prerequisites of Django. Sabi nga natin, si Django requires Python. Okay? Make sure you have installed uh, Python in your in your laptop or in your desktop. Okay? For development environment, if you just if you just want to experiment with Django, you don't need a, to have a separate web server installed or database server. So, kalimitan naman kasi kapag uh, ganitong klase lang, okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan ng web server at saka ng database server. So, di ba din sa napag-aralan natin last time so, sa client server applications and server architecture, di ba doon kailangan natin ng may client, may server. But then, sa lecture natin, we don't need uh, a web server and a database server. Kasi, in Django, comes with its own lightweight development server. So, meron, pag nag-install ka ng Django, automatic, meron na siyang web server, meron na rin siyang database server. Nasa loob na siya nung installation ng Django. So, for a production environment, Django allows the uh, W the which G spec pep333 which means it can run on a variety of web servers so ganyan ka powerful si Django Django runs SQLite okay by default so yan din na yung gagamitin natin SQLite which is included in python installation so kapag nag-install tayo ng python automatically meron na siyang SQLite so, dyan lang natin gagamitin muna yan. And for production environment, so kung gagamitin na ninyo naman siya for production, okay, so the Django re recommends PostgreSQL, but we also officially support MariaDB. So, yung MariaDB, pwede nyo gamitin, MySQL, SQLite, and Oracle. But by this time, since we all, uh, we're just using this for the subject, we're going to use the SQLite version ng as our database. So, what Python version can I use with Django? So, if you have a Django version 1.1, you can use the Python version of 2.7, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, and 3.7. Okay? Added in 1.11.17. So, if you have a Django version na 2.0, so, pwede nyo gamitin ng Python version dyan is 3.4, 0.5, 3.6, and 3.7. And if you have 2.1, 3.1, and so on. So, if you have a 3.1 Django version, you can use the Python version of 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, and 3.9. So, our, the latest version of, ng Django na makikita natin sa internet is kumapap so let me just Okay, so pag search natin si Django. Okay. djangoproject.com, punta tayo doon. And to download. Okay, so the latest version ng Django natin is 3.1.7. So, yan ang latest uh, Django natin. Okay, abit na natin si Cerezo. Okay, so, balik tayo din sa slide. 
So the latest version ng Django natin is 3.1 and the latest version ng Python natin is 3.9. So if you already have a, a Python installed in your computer, make sure na yung compatible kay Django version yung uh, na idadaw, yun ang idadownload nyo. Kung halimbawa, ang Python version nyo lang dyan sa computer nyo is 2.7, so make sure na Django 1.1 lang inyong kagamitin. And kapag yung latest naman yung inyong uh, naka-install sa inyong computer, ang gagamit ninyo is yung 3.1 or yung latest version ng Django. Okay? So, ayun. so what version, Python version, should I use with Django? So, anong gagamitin natin Python version? So, sabi dyan, Python 3 is recommended. So, ito yung latest version natin. Like Django 1.1 is the last version to support Python 2.7. Support for Python 2.7 and Django 1.1 ends in 2020. So, yung mga dating ginawa or mga application dati, from 2.7 to 1.1 Django. So, ngayon, na-upgrade sila. Ganun naman talaga kapag yung mga open source, uh, yearly, nag upgrade yan kasi may mga nakikitang bug or may mga features na kailangan idagdag dun sa framework. And since the newer version of Python are open faster, you have more features and are better supported. The latest version of Python 3 is recommended. So yung gagamitin natin dito sa subject natin, we're using the Python 3 and Django 3.1. Uh, version yan. Django 3.9. So Python 3, 3 point, Python 3.1 and Django 3.9. Okay, yung pinaka latest pareho ng gagamitin natin. So you don't lose anything in Django by using the older older release, but you don't take advantage of the improvements and optimizations in newer Python releases. So the third party application for the use with Django are free to set their own version requirements. So, yeah. Another question, should I use this stable version or development version? So, generally, if you're using code in production, you should be using the stable release. So, yung stable, syempre yung gagamitin natin. The Django project publishes the full stable release every nine months or so. So, almost yearly, nag-release sila ng bago with bug fix updates in between. So, pag nag-release kasi yun ang bago, hindi naman na wawalan yun ng bug. Laging meron yan. May nakikita yung mga developers. So, kaya yearly, nag-release sila. And these stable releases contains the API that is covered by our backward compatibility guarantees. If you write code against stable releases, you shouldn't have any problems upgrading when the next official version is Release. So, ganyan kagandahan yan. Kahit may na-develop, alimbawa, nag-develop ka ng application ngayon, 2021, sa Django framework. And then later, 2025, after 5 years, meron na naman bago. So, hindi, ka, hindi mo na kailangan ulitin yung iyong uh, ulitin yung application na ginawa mo. All you have to do is to migrate, okay, and upgrade yung iyong framework. And then, magiging okay na lahat. Okay? So, sabi nga natin, kailangan natin ng Python kapag gagamit tayo ng Django. And to get the latest version of the Python, you can uh, get it at www.python.org slash download or with your operating system package manager. So you can verify that Python is installed by typing Python from your shell. You should see something like, so okay, so let me try, I already installed Python in, in my unit. And let us just check if it is working. So let ko lang sharing ng ating. Uh, open lang ako ng command prompt. Okay. So, kung pupuntahan nyo itong uh, Python, okay. let me share lang. It's good. 
So, punta tayo sa python.org para makapag- doon natin da-download yung Python. So, ang sabi doon? www.python.org So, ito yung website ng Python. So, I think nakikita naman. So, yan. Ito yung website ng Python. And kung ang gamit nyo ay Mac OS, okay, for Windows or other platforms, pili lang kayo yan. For Windows, ito yung available niya. The latest Python release is 3.9.2. So, ito yung i-download natin. Okay. Click nyo lang yun. Para dito, click nyo 3.9.2 and then mag magda-download yan. And then, install nyo lang siya. Make sure lang sa installation ninyo. Ayun. So, ito na-install ko na to. So, make sure lang sa installation ninyo ay may cheche kay dito eh. Okay. So, modify. So, yan. So, na-install ko na kasi yan. So, meron ka lang dyan uh, sa part dito sa baba. May cheche ka na dyan. Include yung path. So, kailangan mo i-check yun. So, hindi na natin i-install to. So, medyo matagal kasi siyang mag-install, lalo na kung medyo mabagal yung computer ninyo. So, explore nyo lang kung paano siya i-install. Wala naman kayo bang isa-set up, kundi yun. Uh, dalawa kasi yung checkbox dito kapag nag-install kayo. And kailangan nyo lang i-check yung nasa ilalim. Okay? Makikita nyo naman yung kapag fresh installation ng inyong Python. Yun ay kung wala pa kayong Python na naka-install sa inyong computer. Okay? So, uh, first, meron na kayong Python. Tapos, meron na kayong Django. Okay? So, kapa, para malaman niyo na naka-install na yung Python, all you have to do is to open your terminal. Okay? Let me just open a... Okay. So here, kita ba? Ayan. So, yan yung terminal natin. Sa Windows, ang itatype nyo lang is PY. Kasi sa Mac, kailangan buo yung Python or sa ibang platform, sa ibang OS. Dito, PY lang. So, yan. So, kapag naglabas ito, sabihin mo, nasa loob kayo ng Python. So, Python 3.9.2, ito yung uh, naka-install dito sa computer na gamit ko. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo pang makita kung paano mag-install ng Python, you can search sa YouTube kung paano siya i-install. Madali lang naman siya install So, hindi kayo mahihirapan mag-install na. Set up a database. If you plan to use Django's database API functionality, you need to make sure a database server is running Okay? Kailangan may database kayo na nagraran. Django supports many different database servers and is officially supported with PostgreSQL, MariaDB SQL, Oracle, and SQLite. So yung gagamitin nga natin dito sa subject na to with Django framework is yung ating SQLite. Okay? So if you're developing a small project, okay, or something you don't plan to deploy in production environment, SQL, yeah, SQLite is generally the best option as it doesn't require running a separate server. However, okay, however, SQLite has many differences from other databases. So if you are working on something substantial, it's recommended to develop with the same database that you plan using in so kapag medyo malaking system na yung gagamitin mo, malaking web application gagamitin mo, it's better na kung ano yung gagamitin mo for production, for example, gagamit ka ng Oracle uh, SQL, uh, Oracle database, so yun yung gamitin mo sa pagtitest pa lang. But then kapag mga small project lang yung gagamitin natin, SQL Lite yung marerecommend natin na uh, pwede yung gamitin. Okay. Okay, set up database. So if you plan to use Django's mani, uh, manage that by migrate command to automatically create database for the, your models, okay, after first installing Django and creating a project. So make sure na meron na kayong Django na naka-install and meron na ka rin kayong project na na-create. So you need to ensure, ensure that Django has the permission to create and alter, uh, okay, alter the database 
tables into your database you are using. So if you plan to manually create the tables, you can grant Django to select, insert, update, and delete permissions. After creating the database user with this permission, you'll specify the details in your project settings file and see for the database details. Okay, so this is how you're going to install Django. So let's say now we already have uh, installed the uh, Python. So meron na tayong Python. So mag-install naman tayo ng Django. Okay, all you have to do is, uh, this is recommend way to install Django. First, you need to install the pip. Okay, the easiest is to use the standalone pip installer if your distribution already has pip installed. So you might need to update it if it is outdated. So pag nag-install naman tayo ng Python, automatically meron na tayong pip na kasama. Okay, it, uh, okay. take a look. So this, uh, the environment, this provides the isolated fight environments, okay, which are more practical than installing FACAGES system-wide. It also allows installing FACAGES without administrator privileges. So after creating and created the activated virtual environment, enter the command. Okay, so py minus m pip install Django. So kailangan mo lang yan dito i-type. So, kapag nagana na yung Python mo, all you have to do is a pip. Ano yan? py minus m pip install Django. So, dito, may, kanina nakapag-install na ako ng Django. So, let's try na install ulit. So, medyo matagal lang yan. Tingnan ko kung mag-overage siya. Okay, so sabi dito, Requirements already satisfied. So Django is already installed dito sa ating computer. But then kung wala, wala pa naka-install na Django, mag install yan. So using the pip version 2.0 or version 2.1 is available. Okay, upgrading by, uh, so pwede mo siyang uh, upgrade. So install, upgrade. So meron na daw siyang 2.0, 21.0.1. Point so pwede natin i-update yan. Kung gusto natin. So, let's try to upgrade. Ano nangyayari? Pi minus M pip install upgrade 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 pip Okay. So, yan. Nag-update ako ng from 2.0 to 20.0 to 21.1. So, yan. Successfully installed na yung aking pip. Upgraded na siya. So, ganun na siya kadali. So, after that, na makapag-create tayo ng uh, makapag-install tayo ng Python, makapag-install na tayo ng Django, ay magkikreate naman tayo ng ating project. Okay? So, verify. To, to verify that Django can be seen by Python, type Python from the shell, then the Python from try to import Django. So, let's try this one. So, tingnan natin kung talaga naka-share, ah, naka-install na yung ating Django. So, ang ta-type lang natin is, okay, import Django. So, mali. So, alam natin, kailangan, kailangan nasa Python ka. Try natin. Okay. Import Django. Tapos, print. So, nasa loob ako ng Python ha. Wala ako sa directory ha. Print, tapos, Django. Get version. So, tingnan lang natin kung anong version yung naka-install dito sa ating so, yan. I have 3.1.7 na install na Django. Sabihin nun, connected si Django kay Python. Kaya, na-access natin yung si Python. So, to get out, dito sa Python, nasa loob tayo ng Python, kapag nakita nyo itong tatlong arrow na to, na ibig sabihin yan, nasa loob kayo ng Python na shell. So, to exit, press nyo lang Ctrl Z, okay, and then press Enter. 
So, nandito na ulit kayo sa inyong pinakang root directory or main directory na inyong computer. Ah, sa labas na ulit kayo. So, writing your first Django app part 1. It consists of two parts. So, Anig dito na or later i-review nyo lang to. A public site that lets people view polls and vote into them. So, we're going to create sa ating mga exercise, sa ating exercise, we're going to create a poll. Okay? So, yung parang botohan and vote in them. So, gagawa tayo ng botohan, ng view na botohan, tapos pwede tayong bumoto doon. An admin site that lets you add, change, and delete polls. So, yun yung gagawin ng admin natin. Pwede tayong mag-create ng poll, ng, pwede tayong makapag-add, makapag-change, at makapag-delete ng polls. Okay? So, you can tell Django is installed and which version by running the following command in your shell from. Okay? So, yung kanina na ginawa natin. So, let's try. So, let's try this eh, this command. So, pang, panghanap din, uh, para lang malaman natin kung anong version yung naka-install sa atin. So, let's try. ano sabi dito? Okay, so let's me I P Y minus M okay, Django slash version. So ito kagaya din to nung ginawa, ginamit natin dito. Import Django, print Django, get version. So ito rin yung, ito naman nasa labas ka na yung folder. So wala kas dun sa loob ng Python. So yan, so 3.1.7 yung ating installed na Django. Okay? So tandaan nyo yung mga command na yan. So ano lang naman yan, panghahanap ng version. So let's now proceed to in creating a project in our Django framework. So this is the, your first time using Django. You have to take care of some initial setup. Namely, you need to auto-generate some code that establishes a Django project a collection of settings for the instance of Django, including database configuration, Django specific option, and application specific settings. So lahat naman ito ay automatic. Pag nag-create tayo, magkukumand lang tayo na mag-create tayo ng project, lahat ng mga ito automatically ay makikreate na dun sa Django. So hindi nyo na, ang aalalahanin nyo na lang dyan ay yung mga settings na kailangan natin i-set up. Okay? So let's try. So, from the command line, cd or cd into the directory where you would like to store your code. So, sabihin, go to the Diano, create directory, sabihin niya, cd, to store your code, then run the following command. So, first, we need to create a directory dun sa ating uh, system, sa computer natin. So, let's see, let's say, uh, so, ito kasi nasa user na use. Let's try, let's go to um, desktop. Okay. Uh, CD desktop. Ito para yung mapunta, makapunta tayo sa desktop. And then, dito tayo manggawa ng project. Okay. Create tayo ng folder natin. For example, uh, Make directory. Okay. Tapos, uh, ito pwede nyo gawin to. Uh, yung pa, pag nag-create kayo ng folder. So, dito lang, mas maano siya. Para hindi na tayong malis dito sa, sa shell, sa command prompt. Okay, so, make directory. Ang pangalang directory natin, for example, ano kayo, m0 port 4 cs ah integrative logic ah program technologies yan mc report 4 cs ipt okay enter tayo and then let's go to cd para makapunta ka dun sa yung cd command para makapunta ka dun sa m044 cs ipt okay so makita mo nandoon ka na kapag Nakita mo yan. Okay? So, after natin makapag-create ng directory kung saan natin install yung ating project, okay? Itatay pa man natin to. 
Django dash admin start project. Then yung project name natin. So this will create a my site directory in your current directory. Then later tingnan natin kung ano magiging naman niya. So ito yung ginawa nating project, yung ating uh, folder dito, makikita niyo yan dun sa ating desktop. Okay? So yung ginawa kong command kanina, ito mga to, cd desktop, pumunta ako sa desktop. Ang ganito lang yun. Nag-click ako papunta dito sa desktop. Tapos, make directory. Nag-new folder lang ako dito. Nag-create ako ng folder. Asa na yung folder natin? Ayun. M044 CSP. Okay. And then CD, in-open ko lang to. So currently, walaan naman yung ating M044 CSIPT na folder. Okay. So dito tayo gagawa ng project. Okay. Dito tayo magkikreate ng project natin. Django. Okay, so let's try. Oops. Okay, nasa na yung ating ano. Ayan. Okay, so magkikreate tayo ng project. Ang, ang command niya ay Okay, balik tayo dito. Ang command niya is okay, Django dash admin start project in my site. Okay, so ito yung pangalan ng project natin, my site. So make sure lang na nandun tayo sa loob ng folder na generate natin para dun mapasave yung gagawin natin project. So enter lang natin and then, antay lang natin siya mag-create. So, yan. So, let's see kung na-create yung folder dun sa ating... So, yun. May folder na siya. Sir, ba't hindi na lang kinag-create ng folder? Kasi may laman yan. Okay? Kapag sa Django ka nag-create nun, yan, automatic mag-create ng mga file. Manage that file. My site na folder, yan, hindi mo naman magagawa yan ng mano-mano. Kaya dapat dito ka manggagawa sa command prompt or dun sa shell natin. Okay? So yan, nag-create na tayo ng folder ng project natin and nag-create siya ng mga Python files. So after that, napag-create na tayo ng ating project. Okay? So note, you need to avoid naming projects after built-in Python or Django components. In particular, this means you should avoid using names like Django. Huwag kang kay create ng project na pangalan ay Django. Okay? Magko-conflict yan. Okay? It will which conflict with Django itself or Python. Magko-conflict yan. Or the test which conflicts a with the built-in Python packages. So, test, si test. Huwag mo siyang create Kasi magko-conflict din yan kay Python. Okay? So, kaya ang ginamit natin ng project name is MySite. Okay? So, where should this code live? So, if your background is in plain old PHP with no use of modern frameworks, so, kasi dati, wala pang mga ganitong frameworks, uh, mano-mano mo siyang gagawin lahat. Okay? You're probably used to putting code under the web server document root in a place such as bar www. So, yan yung pinakang post folder. Pero sa Django, you don't do that. So, pag nag-create kasi ng project sa PHP, okay, ibang scripting language yun, kailangan nasulog siya ng Apache folder mo sa web. www root, tapos bar www sa folder para ma-access mo yung kanyang uh, website. Sa Django, hindi mo na kailangan gumawa yun. It's not a good, good idea to put any of this Python code with your web server's document root because it's risk and possibility that the people may be able to view your code over the web. That's not good for security. So kung gagawa kayo ng mga web application, make sure na wala siya dun sa root folder ng inyong web server. So dapat nakaiwalay siya. Kasi madali siyang mahahack, madali siyang uh, makukuha ng mga hacker. So, put your code in some directory outside of, of the doc, document root such as home or slash my code. So, huwag niyong lalagay doon. Kaya, ginawa natin, 
nilagay natin siya sa desktop para nakaiwala siya. Okay? Isang tip yun. So, look. So, so, look. Let's look at what start project created. So, nakapag-create tayo ng folder na my site and then may manage file. Then, another folder na my site. Then, nandun yung init that py settings that py urls that py as g as py with g as that py so yan yung automatically na create na uh, ng project so hindi natin yan kailangang uh, problemahin ang po problemahin natin diyan is yung settings na gagamitin natin so later on gagawa kayo na ganyan so these files are okay the outer my site or yung pinakang root directory natin is the container of all of your project. Its name doesn't matter to Django. You can rename it to anything you like. So, pwede nyo palitan yan. And the manage.py, okay, is a command line utility that lets you interact with this Django project in a various way. So, kapag gusto mo may baguhin do sa project mo, Unang tatawagin mo si manage.py. You can read all the details about manage.py in Django admin and manage.py. Okay? The inner my site directory yung nasa loob is actual Python package for your project. Its name is the Python package name you need to use to import anything inside. Example, my site.urls. Okay? So, yan yung gagamitin natin yung my site. So, uh, ginawa natin project. Yung nasa loob naman ng folder na my site, yung uh, double underscore dot init dot py, an empty file that tells the Python that this directory should be considered a Python package. So, kapag kailangan mo uh, considered, ay dapat ito is it's a Python package. Para mag, uh, makilala niya na Python yun, kailangan mo nang init, okay, init.py, double underscore init, double underscore dot py, okay? So, Python beginner, read more about packages in the official Python doc. So, para mas malaman mo kung para saan to binagamit. Next is yung settings.py, nasa loob pa rin ng folder na my site. Settings, configuration for this Django project, Django settings will tell you all about how settings Work. So, lahat ng settings mo na kailangan, for example, uh, kailangan ito lang makaka-access sa akin, kailangan ito lang yung pwedeng uh, ma-open. So, sa settings mo yan gagawin. The urls.py, the url declaration for this Django project, okay, a table of contents of your Django-powered site. You can read more about urls in your url dispatcher. So, later, mas matatalakay pa natin yan and mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung mga yan. Sa asg.py, it's an entry point for asg compatible web servers to serve your projects. Okay? And yung sa web server naman, sa entry point for wishg compatible web servers to serve your project. Okay? So ito yung magsisibing uh, connection natin para dun sa ating web server. Okay? So, yan. So, nakapag-create na tayo ng project. Nakapag-create na tayo ng project ng my site. So, the development of server. So, let's verify your Django project works. Change into the outer my site directory if you haven't already. And run the following commands. So, first of all, para matest natin kung nagraran yung project natin na tinawa, punta muna tayo dun sa ating project. So, paano tayo pupunta? Kailangan natin i-type cd my site. Okay, para makapunta tayo dun sa root folder ng ating Django project. Okay, nasa loob na tayo ng my site. Next natin gagawin is to run this code. Okay, py. Then, manage that py. Then, run server. Okay. Find manage that by that run server. So, itetest lang natin dito kung magraran yung ating uh, server dun sa ating Django. 
Okay, so let's try. Ayan. You have an 18 unapplied migrations. Your project may not work properly until you apply the migration for the apps. Admin, authentication, content type, sessions. Okay, all you have to do is to run Python manage.py migrate to apply them. Okay, February 23, 2021, 18, 27, 11. Django version, ito yung settings natin. Starting development server is HTTP, uh, one, two, ito, local host to. So if you go, are going to run this one, okay, copy lang natin. Okay, nakapin na natin. Then let's try to open in our browser. Okay, so paste lang natin dito. Port 80. Then... Aba, ay, teka. Control break. Ah, okay. Nag-quit tayo. Dilitin natin. Run server. Okay. Nag-quit ko kanina. Ayan. Okay. So, as you can see here, sa ating uh, Django, the installation works has successful and congratulations. Okay, you are seeing this page because the bug through is in your settings. Okay, so yeah. So successfully naira natin or na install natin yung Django na open natin. So ganun lang siya kadali. Kailangan mag-install ng Python. Kailangan mag-install ng Django. Mag-create ng directory. Pagka-create ko ng directory, mag-create ka doon sa loob nun ng iyong magiging project. And then, test mo kung nagraran yung project. And then, kapag nagraran yung project, naran mo yung server, ito makikita mo na successfully nagraran yung iyong project. Okay? So, ganyan yung pag-create ng simple Django application.